What happened with you and Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil wanted me to come on and they wanted to portray me as an alcoholic. And I really wasn't, I wasn't down for that, man, because, you know, being one of the most creative people on this planet, I felt like the platform could have been used to uplift people more because everybody knows I'm not an alcoholic, you know. Well, how did that whole situation even come about? I think one of the producers got wind in, of my account. They ended up emailing me and asking me to send in certain things and asking me if I wanted to bring certain family members on the show to, to you know, be a character in my story and really just make a mockery of my life. They said, we noticed you wear bathrobes to the airport and to court. Um, damn right, I was the most comfortable nigga in jail, but that doesn't mean that I would let them exploit it for their television show to try to make me out to be anything less than the most comfortable man on planet Earth. Now, sometimes there are scammy stuff. Like sometimes, you know, in the music industry, somebody will represent let's say a record label, and, and it's, they don't really represent that record label. They introduce themselves and say, hey, I represent so-and-so record label. I'm trying to do this with you, but it's fake. It's a scam. Was this legit? Was this a legit Dr. Phil producer? Oh, yeah, it was a, uh, I believe the network is CBS that they're on. Yeah, it was a CBS email. And, and people said that even with, uh, I remember Charlemagne said on The Breakfast Club when they was talking about the Rihanna situation, he said, I wouldn't sign to somebody just because of their association, but we're talking about her pops. Like, you know, he was a cool guy to me, but I'm not gonna know him as well as somebody like his own daughter. So whatever they going, got going on right now, I hope they're able to work out. And you know, the music is coming for the people that do tune in and are ready for that, the music is coming. But ultimately, you know, it's about them first and the Fenty family first. And, you know, my prayers that they, they get that situation worked out. But back to this Dr. Phil situation, they reach out to you and, and... They reached out to me and the producer explained their, their uh, angle for the show. They reached out, they said, hey, so do you really wear a bathrobe all the time? And I said, well, I don't own regular clothes. They said, okay, but what about you know, for important matters, I said there is nothing too important to where I can't be comfortable. And that's really where the basis of this comes from. You know, some would liken it to a certain uh, type of person may wear a hijab. That, that might be what they wear, what they identify with culturally. And, you know, I feel like I deserve the same respect for my design and my, my choice of wear. But ultimately, my, my mission is comfort and making sure that people know that no matter where you go, you can be comfortable and we don't have to be bound by society's rules and, you know, what they say we should do.